Chapter 6. Welcome, it's very nice to see you here. Our empty kitchen will be filled with cabinets and furniture, and we are going to turn on the lights in the scene. Now that we have the camera aligned with our floor plan and sample image, we are going to link the pre-made cabinets that we prepared for you. I'm very excited for it and I'm hopeful that you guys are too. Let's work! Open the magic plan dot series dot plan file that we saved in the chapter 5. Uncheck the X-ray and choose the solid view on the viewport section in the top right corner. In the same section we have an overlay control as seen on my screen. Toggle the drop down and uncheck relationship lines. Great job, let's continue. Go to the top left side in the main bar and access file link. Access your main project folder and choose assets. Inside the folder you are going to find 25 subfolders, each one representing a different asset. We are going to start with the number one, the kitchen ceiling. Access the folder. 01 underline mp underline kitchen underline ceiling. Choose the Blender file inside it, as you see in my screen. Next, you will be presented with a series of folders to choose from. Choose the collection folder and choose to link the collection called 01 underline mp underline kitchen underline ceiling. In your scene, you should see the ceiling completing the kitchen room right now. Great job! We are going to repeat the same process of linking the assets from the folder number 1, like we did it now, to the folder 19. Let's do it! You noticed that all the 3D models were pre-aligned, so we can make our scene easier to assemble. But after finish our project, you can rearrange, move and change your scene. All the models are free and CC0 licensed, meaning that you can use them for personal or commercial projects, a courtesy from the Magic Plan team and that is incentive so you can start your own 3D model library. Now that all the furniture is in place, we are going to light the scene using an HDRI image, a common technique used in the 3D world to illuminate environments in a realistic fashion. First, download the HDRI image Sterx Sprout underline false underline 8k dot hdr on the link below as you are seeing on my screen we will use a file from polyheaven a website that offers high quality hdri images under a cc0 license after downloading our image we're going to access the shading tab on our scene in blender on the top center of the main window in the menu bar in the shading interface on the center left on our screen we are going to make a change on the drop down menu from object to world as seen on my screen select the box named background and press x to delete it now we are going to access the add menu in the center menu bar and select texture environment texture you will notice that now we have an environment texture box or note left side click on it to open and select the image that we downloaded from polyheaven 
Now we are going to connect this image to our project. Left side click, hold, grab and move the connection into the surface option as seen on my screen. And done. Now we have a HDRI light inside our scene. We can go back to the modeling tab on the top left side of our interface. Hit the camera icon right below the gizmo tool to be sure that we are seen from the perspective of the camera. Then go to the top left side in the main window where you will notice three spheres. Each one of those spheres controls a shading mode and now we want to see a render view of our project. So go ahead and select the one in the far right. As you see on my screen, the render view mode will start the rendering process. This can take a little while, but soon you will see that your room is now illuminated. The windows in the kitchen are still opaque and they need a glass material on the window panes. And the walls and flooring are still white. But don't worry, in the next and final chapter you will learn how to use and assign different materials to those elements. I catch you guys in the next one. We hope you liked the video. Comment if you have any questions or video requests. We love to hear your opinions. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. And I see you guys next time. Bye bye.